sometimes I feel like if you really want to embrace the idea of something, you have to go back to its roots. And even though arguably horror films have been around for a very long time, it is argued that movies like Nosferatu and The Cabin of Dr. Caligari are the fathers of the horror genre. Specifically, today, Nosferatu, or Nosferatu, A Symphony of Horror, is one of the greatest horror films ever made. And I don't mean that in the sense where, you know, it stands the test of time necessarily. I mean that even though this is a silent German expressionist film with very deep shadows that creates unsettling imagery, it still managed to be very, very creepy. You can put it on, turn off the lights, and really engage with it, and it still can scare the shit out of you. I know a lot of my students didn't really appreciate this choice, uh, even some of my co-workers, not big fans of the silent era of films, but I felt this was a good way to kind of explore where some horror came from. And the fact that this is like the bad boy of horror films, considering that it is an unauthorized, you know, adaptation of Bram Stoker's Dracula, but with name changes, it, it really stands the test of time and one, it's storytelling, two, it's expressionism, and three, the way that it makes you feel. For a lot of people, when they think of Nosferatu, they think of that weird creature that shows up in that Spongebob episode. But Nosferatu is one of those movies that, when you give it a chance, you turn off your phone and you're fully engaged with the lights off at full max, and you're by yourself, this movie is incredibly unsettling. And that's the point. I feel horror can be found in almost anything. When you deep dive, it goes far. So do yourselves a favor. If you want to do a little bit of educational research, watch Nosferatu. It's a great vampire film.